In an age dominated by social media, the pursuit of a perfect body has morphed from a journey of health into unrealistic expectations and damaging trends. Fitness culture is the collective mindset and practices surrounding exercise, nutrition, and well-being within a community. Fitness culture was once centered around happiness and health, but it has now evolved into a realm that has narrow beauty standards and unattainable goals. This pressure can cause people to conform to certain body ideals and engage in extreme exercise routines. In fitness culture, toxicity is not just on social media, it is also in gyms, fitness studios, and other communities. I went onto SDSU's campus and interviewed several students to see what they think about fitness culture. Uh, I think that the fitness culture is toxic because um, when people post photos on Instagram, that's not how they look usually. Uh, they have different angles and different lighting that helps them look better, so I think social media just creates a toxic uh, gym community. I think fitness culture can be a good thing in the right circumstances, but I think a lot of college students and athletes who go to the gym here kind of get caught up on the bad side of fitness culture and they just go and see what they they go and find what they see on social media and they use kind of like cheat codes to get to their fitness goals versus actually working for it, getting a good healthy diet in, working out every day. And I know that personally as a college student athlete, it's super important to uh, prioritize your mental and physical health here.